What does it mean to be a citizen? It's a question that I began to wrestle with when I was asked to perform for the opening of the Civil Rights Museum in Mississippi. As I looked into the faces of so many who had given so much of themselves, of their lives, to advance the freedom for all of us, I began to think, how do we remember these people? How do we celebrate their lives? How do we live lives as better citizens? As I was standing next to Merle Evers, who herself was standing only feet away from the rifle that took her husband's life, I began to think, what is citizenship? Is it something that's given to us, something we're born into, or something that we live up to? It brings to mind the Mississippi-born composer William Grant Still, who was not allowed to publish his beautiful work, Summerland, in the original key that he wrote it. Publishers at the time felt that composers of color should not be published in, quote, complicated keys. It also reminds me of the Marie Hall painting of John Wesley Washington, a Mississippian born into slavery in 1847. Marie Hall gave that painting the title, An American Citizen. She sought to restore to him the dignity and full rights that had been denied him from his birth that she felt were truly his, but somehow that his own society had not given him. It also reminds me of John Newton, a former slave trader whose eyes were open to his wrong ways and who sought forgiveness and renewal and redemption and then wrote a song that we know as Amazing Grace. I decided to play it as the last piece on the program at the Civil Rights Museum because I thought in this time in this place, now, what is better than love, forgiveness, and renewal? Maybe sharing love, forgiveness, and renewal is really what it means to be a citizen. <laughs>